simple kind of back, break back weight in my hands. I'm using forceful 23 to create uh, lines in the hair, classic and then we're using a gold comb in the back, which makes it very long back. doing quite a natural look but we've added a little bit of blush with they've all got foundation on eyebrows groomed to perfection small amount of eyeshadow around the eyes and you know lips natural but with a fabulous balm and then we've added black mascara to the top of the lashes only Just a little bronzer and a little bit on the eyes. It's, it's really natural. I like it. You know, in fashion, by the age of 17, you can be also retired, you know. So I called a lot of women I loved and women that did my show. And I didn't say models, but I said women. And I brought them back and I wanted to have a show that the feeling will be maybe a parade of women and not a comeback of models. I have a very chic long dress, subtle openings on one side with pearls. Albert's an amazing designer. He designs for women that are elegant and chic but have a little bit of an edge. First it was our 125 years anniversary so I went back to do a bit of revisiting from our archive and then I brought back you know all the necessity of women of today and what is it that they really want and I decided also to shut the screen this season and to work with no screen and to do things that looks good in the eye and look good in the body and not, not look good in the photo. If we end up designing for the photo, we always can miss the body because the screen is flat and the body is rounded. So here it was all about the body. Opening with this wonderful, just long and languid, gorgeous dresses that had a halter cut, a one shoulder cut, a slit up the side. Super easy, super chic, and something that every woman will be able to understand and add into her wardrobe. Albert Elbaz always seems to have a woman's best interest at heart. I mean, I look at the clothes and I look at the shoes, I look at the way that the models move in his clothes, and there's always this sense of real sort of power and confidence. I've seen every one of Albert's shows, and I think this one, honestly, I think it's his best one. You know, as you do what you do, you become refined, and this was so strong woman, but still ultra-feminine, ultra-sexy. The first one's quite simple, and has like chains going around and hanging down. Whether you wanted to buy a white suit or whether you're wanting to pair um, a beautiful white blouse with a big beige belt and a very slim A-line black skirt or whether in fact you're wanting a beautiful long flowing sundress there's something there for everybody. 
He knows how to make every woman look and feel beautiful. Alberto Baz is very consistent in creating a wardrobe for you know women from day to night and also creating for different types. You had sexy, you had kind of quirky, you kind of had edgy, androgynous, you had all of them in the mix. And I thought it was an incredible show, incredible casting. The Lanvin woman is ageless, she's timeless, you know, you had amazing um, older models on the runway like Kirsten Owen and then you had all the new fresh young cults strutting their stuff as well. So I think that was a really positive message for women where it was like, you know, these clothes are not for now but they're forever. It was one of Albert's best collections to date, to show that not only a young model can trot the runway, but a gorgeous woman and models from the past that are real women and their shape and their look can look as fantastic in the clothes as a young woman. He always manages to be timely but timeless. You looked at those outfits, those lace dresses, oh my. They were so classic, but at the same time, so desirable for right now. I have been watching Lomba for years and years. We had a little bit from a lot of different moments for him. I love how he paced the show. We had a tiny bit of the smoking. We had his references to his pearls. Just pieces from different, but then he remixed it into something that feels very new again. I started to bring back all those iconic pieces uh, from the arpege battle, from the black and gold, from the pearl, the blue that we're using. Lanvin for me was like Albert's greatest hits. It was like, you know, there's so many familiar themes and familiar silhouettes, but Everything looked new and everything looked super slick and sexy and I just wanted everything. I mean, from the shoes to the bags to the dresses. They just had um, a sense of elegance, a sense of beauty, but also they had a sense of whimsy and that's what he's so good at. He produces clothes that real women want to wear, regardless of age, regardless of size. And he has such a hand that produces really exquisite clothes. That show was sexy, it was cool, it was modern, it was relevant. Just fabulous, very long van, I loved it. The other one is beaded. It's really nice. And they're really baggy, which is nice too. It's very much style when I actually do wear a dress. It's very Albert. He's very Lanvin Albert. Albert Lanvin, I don't know how you mix it. But it's really the way that he does, and I think it did well once more. Of course, lace always at Long Pond. Navy and black, a color combination that is tray French, tray chic, but beautifully executed, even the little touches of metallic, even rose gold metallic dresses that were beautiful, and of course, gorgeous prints and chiffon. All the prints are coming from uh, screens that Rateau, which was an architect that, that Madame Lanvin was working with. of all his clothes is this kind of generosity of spirit and it's a generosity that extends to how he thinks about the body so that these really are clothes that you can wear you know no matter what eyes you have um, and look wonderful in them and I think that that's really what people respond to about him you know they really are the most kind of generous clothes there was something for a woman from the moment she woke up to the time that she went to bed and every place her life will take her in between. All beautifully executed at Albert's hands. I have to say, bravo Albert. 
best collection of the season so far here in Paris. It was something for an entire lifestyle. I was really impressed. You know, it was really a big moment for them. Congratulations out there. We love you so much.